the opponent made him look that way. And so let's see if he can take on another Titan as he's up against multiple time world champion Taha Agul. Taha Agul, born into wrestling greatness, hails from Siva, started competing at the age of 12. His hometown has produced several Olympic champions, three in fact. Always talked about during his younger days when family would visit, they would move the furniture and the living room became a wrestling room. All the relatives would duke it out and that would be their entertainment. Holy cow, that's the room I don't want to be in. I'm not sure he stepped out right there, but they awarded the point there. They will go one, a ghoul gets the early point. Well, think about Taha Ghoul. He has always stayed grounded throughout his success. He won the Olympic title back in 2016, and after winning gold in Rio, he, he stayed humble, did not allow his life to change. He lived in the same apartment, drove the same car, had the same friends, always modest. That's what a lot of the sport appreciates about him. Just brings that work ethic each and every day, and he's overcome some adversity. Had that very serious shoulder injury a couple of years back that cost him nearly a year. We weren't even sure if he was going to be able to come back and really compete at the level that Turkey A fans were used to seeing, but clearly he has recovered fully and is at the top of his game. And we talked about Yazdani being uh, a hero and famous in Iran. Akgul is the same way. They treat him like a king over there, and he deserves it. Heavyweight is something that's uh, always been sought after. It's, it feels like in other countries, they treat heavyweights better because they're the biggest and the baddest. Akgul is the best heavyweight in Turkey's history, and so they treat him like that. He's famous over there. I just got to spend a night with them, hanging out with Kyle Snyder and him as they were training part and he couldn't be nicer and he's uh, he's very famous and you look at him as he gets Mongolia on the shot clock as we look for a leg here nice leg attack but he misses that good counter seven-time European champion winning the title in 2021 First continental title back in 2012. And when you perform at this type of level, like so many of the wrestlers, he was joking with some of the uh, Turkey A local media a couple years ago. He says his life is all about discipline. That that that's what it stems around. That's what really drives him each and every day is his devotion, his discipline to the sport. He has not went on a holiday or a vacation in over 12 years. So that's discipline at the highest level. And we're comparing him to the people at this event who have the highest level of discipline themselves. So to say that he's got higher level of discipline than the rest of the wrestlers on the team that are making it at this level is uh, something really to take note of. So Agul will go into the corner with the advantage, the activity point, and then the step out. That's been it. Golia, really with just the one true shot in that first period. Let's see if Monk Tur tries to get his offense started, the world bronze medalist from 2021. On a night in which we saw an American win a sixth world title, will we see the legend from Turkey A capture number three? Three minutes away from finding out. Love to see this right out of the whistle. He catches the Mongolian's leg. And here's some of that defense that Munter showed, and he'll counter and bring a ghoul down. How about that? Amazing, very amazing. Once again, very different heavyweight action. A shot on the whistle, got a piece of his ankle. Agul's finish rate is off the charts, just like we were talking about with Petro Shabili, but we had a huge answer from Monk Tour from Mongolia with the counterattack, heavy with the hips, and looking for his own score. He goes ahead 2-2. Two to two. I made my first trip to Ulaanbaatar for the Asian Championships last April with the passion in that city 
of the Mongolian wrestlers. You see why they are starting to make more of an imprint, not just in freestyle, but on the women's freestyle side. And also, they've always had the success in Greco. Here's a shot now by uh, Ghoul, and he will finish it, and he goes back out in front. Now, it was the exact same shot that he hit off the whistle, but a little bit more of a setup. He was expecting to catch his opponent off guard at the beginning there, and this time, oh, with the gut wrench to add to it, that's huge. The veterans in the game always have the top game. It's very hard to work on your top when you're just coming up because it's so hard to score, but once we gain some experience and, and we start to, to dominate at this senior level, you work on your top game, and you're seeing that with David Taylor and now Ak Ghul opening the match up with an extra gut wrench, two points added to him with the takedown. He goes up by four now, six to two, 141 left in our final bout of the evening. Blue. Referee not liking the location of the hand of Agul right underneath the chin and the throat area, so he separates the two, back at it we go. 90 seconds, Agul behind that last barrage has opened up his largest lead. Last night he had to rally to win. A little bit of a different strategy over the final 70 seconds here. Now he's bracing down, buckling in, trying to hang on for this world title. Munter, both hands around the arm of Agul, tried to whip him down, tried to stick in an underhook. Agul keeps moving. We'll rely on some hand defense here in the closing moments of this period. Keep Mung Tur off from getting to his close ties. Guy who doesn't like to work in space, he wants to get tied up with you, uses upper body strength, but he just can't quite get through the hand defense right now of a ghoul. And you can see the down blocking is really top notch as well because these guys are actually ready to shoot. Different thing that you don't see very often at heavyweight, but both of these athletes very agile with a nice duck under attempt Blue by Mongolia's Monk Tour. 16 seconds left. He's going to need to go big here. He needs a four point action. More on a night, final attempt. On a night that has belonged to a lot of the veterans of the sport, we close it with the 31 year old Taha Ghoul capturing number three. A three-time world champion. You have to go back to 2015. The last time Agul has won a world championship. But he has done it this year. His route knocking off the defending champion in the semis. And now taking out 